New X. You know, one of the best features about the Mighty Space is the app. With this app, you can do so much with the Mighty Space and it works on your smartphone and it also works on your desktop. In this video, I'm going to take you through a guided tour of how to connect it up to the Mighty Space and what you can do with it. Let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and connect our iOS device to the Mighty Space. Now, if you look on the top panel of the Mighty Space right now, uh, because I haven't made any connections, the audio LED and the app LED are both blinking, meaning that there's no connection between my phone and the Mighty Space. Now, in order to make that connection, all I have to do is just go into my Bluetooth settings and select the Mighty Space. Once I do, it connects up and you can hear a little ding there in the background to let you know that it's all synced up. That's one move we have to make. The next move we have to make is we have to go get the Mighty Amp app from the iOS store or the Google Play store if you're on Android because it's the same procedure either way. You connect the Bluetooth and then you connect the app. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the app. And you can see right now that it's set to uh, the Mighty Plug Pro. What we need to do is change this. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to Mighty Space. And within a second or two, it's going to scan, it's going to find the Mighty Space, it's gonna connect it up. And that's pretty much it at that point. Uh, so it'll take a, a second or two here, it's getting the device data. Now it's set to go. So if I start going to say the drum machine here and I turn the drum machine on, we can now hear it. I can change the EQ curve if I want to, I can change the tempo, I can use the tap to tempo it. I can turn it off, I can select different styles a whole bunch of different things. But let's go ahead and move over to the edit window first so you can really see where the magic of the app is, which is right here on the edit window. This is where you can select all of the different presets. And in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own preset. You can also change, uh, you, can sh you can share presets, you can active presets, you can save presets. Again, we will get to that. But the real magic is below that where we've got the signal path. And this is where you can select any of the various signal blocks here along the path and you can change it. You can set, you can say, if you wanna to go to effects, this is where all of your uh, overdrives, distortions and fuzzes are. You can turn it on and then you can select, you can select say uh, a big muff if you want to and make any, connect, any, make any adjustments that you'd like to, change the, stay, the sustain, change the volume, have a lot of fun with it and just basically make it your own preset. From there though, you can then go through the rest of the signal path and you can turn off and on various signal blocks, but here's a really cool feature that you uh, will definitely wanna take advantage of. What you can do is you can actually change the order of the blocks, meaning that Let's just say for some twisted reason, I want the delay to come before the amp. Here's how you do it. Click, drag, and there you go. Drop it right before the amp, and that is all there is to it. You just have to remember to hit the save button after that, and you will remember that preset. So that's the kind of versatility that you have here with the uh, Mighty Space. And by the way, this is all reproducible on the app on your desktop or your Mac or your PC. It looks exactly the same, it works exactly the same. So anything I'm doing here, you can do there as well. So there's no need to do them both at the same time or show you some elongated uh, tutorial on both platforms, it's exactly the same. Uh, moving to the right, we already took a look at the drums. We have the looper. There is a phrase looper built in to the Mighty Space app here. If you're wondering how am I going to play guitar and also use this looper? Well, that's what the NMP2 foot switch was provided for. And I will show you how to set that up so you can use the NMP2 with the looper to create your own loops and have a lot of fun with the Mighty Space. Moving to the right of that, we have our Bluetooth settings. Um, not too exciting, but you can change all, you can change the volume and the EQ curve if you want to. So you can really customize it, you can save it, or you can reset it. From there, you also have the jam tracks to the far right. Now, this is, I think, one of, this is probably one of my favorite features because we have these great studio quality jam tracks you can work with. Some that we have created, like say the metal, for example, we can turn the metal jam track on. Now that's just one example. We have a few of them here to choose from, but we also have artist tracks. These are really great studio quality uh, demo tracks that were made by our artists 
And if you've watched any of my videos on the Mighty Plug Pro, the, this is my go-to. I use, I use these a lot. But you can also load in your own custom tracks as well. And yes, we will talk about that in the future. But if you go all the way over to settings, at this point, if you wanna change your USB audio settings, you can do that. Really, you don't have to worry about that for the first time out. Uh, but I will absolutely review this when we start using the Mighty Space as a USB audio interface, which is one of the secret weapons of that of this product. I love it to death. But in any case, that is how you use the app with the Mighty Space. It's the same on iOS. It's the same on Android. And when you've got it plugged into your Mac or your PC, it's exactly the same when you use the editor there. Now, one thing to note, though, if you want to load in your own impulse responses, if I go to, say, the... IR, uh, the IR signal block here on the edit window, you can see that I've got over 30 uh, impulse responses already loaded up for electric guitar, for acoustic guitar, and for bass. But you can see that we have a whole bunch of empty spaces below that because you can load in your own impulse responses into the Mighty Space. But you have to do that through the desktop app. And if you want to see a video on how to do that, just use the comment section below and I will do a video that shows you exactly how to do that. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you found it helpful. Now be sure to come back in the next video where I'll show you how to create your own customized presets inside of the app. We'll see you then.